Good day, everyone, and welcome back to ASEAN News with me, Vanessa. Joko Widodo says ASEAN needs to unite for strength. Summit Chair Indonesian President Joko Widodo said in a summit opening remarks he was convinced that the ASEAN can be a central player in bringing regional peace if there is unity among its members. I am convinced that we all believe ASEAN can do it only if there is one key, which is unity. With unity, ASEAN will be able to be a central player in bringing peace and growth. We have a strong asset as the epicentrum of growth, above average rapid economic growth in the world, demographic advantage and security of stability. Over the next two days, leaders of the bloc are expected to discuss the crisis in Myanmar and push the junta to implement a five-point peace consensus agreed to in late 2021 that includes ending all hostilities and engaging all stakeholders. ASEAN has barred Myanmar's generals from attending high-level meeting until progress is made. As chair of ASEAN this year, Indonesia has also been quietly engaging Myanmar's military, shadow government and armed ethnic groups to kick-start peace talks. Indonesian president condemns attack on ASEAN officials delivering aid to Myanmar. Indonesia's President Joko Widodo condemned an attack in Myanmar on ASEAN officials delivering humanitarian aid and called for an end to violence in the strife foreign country. AHA Center didampingi tim monitoring ASEAN. The ASEAN Coordinating Center for Humanitarian Assistance on Disaster Management, accompanied by the ASEAN Monitoring Team, were about to send humanitarian aid to Myanmar, yet it is very regrettable that the crossfire stop using force, stop violence, because it's the people who will suffer, and under these conditions nobody will win. I urge that we sit together and create room for dialogue and to find solution together. Joko, as the president is popularly known, did not provide details of the incident, but said it would not deter efforts by Indonesia and ASEAN to push for peace in Myanmar. ASEAN summit to focus on economic growth, centrality and stability. Indonesia is gearing up to host the upcoming 42nd ASEAN summit with the aim of promoting the region's economic growth, centrality and stability by fostering collaboration. According to the Indonesian Foreign Ministry, eight meetings in plenary and retreat formats are scheduled to be held, seven of which will be chaired by Indonesian President Joko Widodo. Leaders will meet and discuss global challenges and progress under the theme of ASEAN Matters, epicentrum of growth. Under the theme, leaders will focus on the three main pillars. The purpose is to maintain ASEAN stability, peace and growth. And of course, uh, on the epicentrum of growth, let's focus on the key priority areas, particularly talk about health, priority, food security, uh, energy security, and financial stability. These are the key priorities under this particular uh, topic. This year is a very important uh, year for ASEAN. Uh, first, the world is uh, still recovering from the effect of the pandemic, and in some parts of the world it is still becoming a hard challenge to recover. And Southeast Asian region has been the global engine of growth for some time and it is predicted that this region uh, will be one among the bright spots in the global economy. The third pillar is related to the importance of cooperation among neighboring countries. Other topics that remain an important point of discussions at the summit will be post-pandemic economic recovery, ASEAN's 2045 vision and the Myanmar crisis. ASEAN groups Brunei, Cambodia, Timor-Leste, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. The ASEAN summit and related meetings this year are scheduled held from May 9 to 11 in Indonesia's Labuan Bajo, a tourist resort in East Nusa Tenggara province. Indonesian and Vietnam leaders meet ahead of ASEAN summit. Indonesian President Joko Widodo met with Vietnamese Prime Minister Pan Min Chin for talks in the resort town of Labuan Bajo, just ahead of the ASEAN Leaders Summit. Indonesia ASEAN's chair this year is hosting the regional bloc's annual summit, which takes place from May 10 to 11. Leaders will discuss regional issues such as the South China Sea and are expected to push Myanmar to implement the peace consensus it had agreed to two years ago to resolve its current internal conflicts. 
The ASEAN Nations Summit and related meetings this year are scheduled, which take place from 18 to 11 in Indonesia's Labuan Bajo, a tourist resort in East Nusa Tenggara province. ASEAN groups Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. Indonesian island increases security to a sheer for the second ASEAN summit. Indonesia beefed up security on the small tourist island of Labuan Bajo to secure 42nd ASEAN Nations Summit. The aim of the promoting of region's economic growth centrality and stability by fostering collaboration. The two-day summit is being held as the 10-member regional bloc attempts to push Myanmar to implement the peace consensus it agreed to two years ago to resolve the country's conflict. President Widodo had condemned an attack in Myanmar on ASEAN officials delivering humanitarian aid and called for an end to violence in the strife-torn country. Indonesian island hosts summit on hopes of tourism boom amid development impact. Once a quiet resort getaway in the eastern corner of Indonesia, the island of Flores is expecting a tourism boom after its fishing town capital Labuan Bajo was chosen as the site of the 42nd ASEAN Nations Leaders Summit this year. Embracing the arrival of guests and the international spotlight, local residents and business owners in a small fishing town are hopeful that the event will boost tourism in the area, still reeling from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. People are very happy and we are welcoming the upcoming ASEAN Summit with joy. Although we realize that we are far from perfect here in West Mangarai Regency, we are sure that the commitment for the government to appoint Labuan Bajo as the host is a great plan and hope people want to waste this opportunity. He added that the benefits will extend from the town and into local industries like coffee plantations, creating jobs in different sectors. Labuan Bajo has seen rapid development of infrastructure over the past year leading up to the summit as the small island braces for the arrival of 800 Southeast Asian delegates throughout the event. ASEAN leaders are scheduled to arrive on the island on May 9, 2023 with Indonesian President Joko Widodo said to open the meeting on May 10. International Maritime Defense Exhibition closes in Singapore. The International Maritime Defense Exhibition Asia 2023 closed at the Changi Exhibition Center in Singapore with latest shipborne weapon systems and main technology and marine power systems shining at the show. The three-day event attracted more than 200 enterprises from 25 countries and regions to showcase their most advanced products. SBG is to integrate this sensor in order to create a very efficient, very accurate system to detect the trajectory of a system. So we can use the technology for UAV, for drone, for IIR vehicle, for autonomous vehicle, uh, so we can use for many systems. Denmark, Italy and the United States set up national pavilions to present their innovative products and special materials. We design and produce special electrical cables. This means uh, we supply, yes, of course, defense, but not only. Uh, we supply also um, 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 scientific inspection and uh, civil application, telecommunication, height and low, uh, uh, height and low uh, temperature, different, very different wide range of application. 22 warships from 13 countries were also open to the public during the exhibition. A biennial event, the IMDEX Asia 2023 marks the Expo's 13th edition, returning this year after a four-year hiatus. China and Germany promise to further strengthen ties. Chinese State Councilor and Foreign Minister Xin Gang called on China and Germany to stick to the right path, jointly oppose the new Cold War and decoupling economies or severing supply chains and inject confidence and impetus into world peace and economic recovery. Xin made the remarks during a meeting with German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock in Berlin. 
Qin said China and Germany are both among the major countries with global influence, and two countries should strengthen dialogue and cooperation under the current international situation featured with interwoven turmoils. Qing added, China is willing to work with Germany to play as the promoters of global economic recovery, the maintainers of world peace and stability, and the defenders of the post-war international order. Thank you, folks. We will see you again sooner. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe and stay healthy.